Let's chat. Let's chat before we get started. We're gonna do our we're gonna do our little chat. So yesterday, what happened? We went in Humphrey. There was like this thing that we ate, and it was us um, that we consumed, and then we became more powerful. And then we got all the keys. Then we went in Black Space, uh, and Black Space was miserable. And then uh, there was this whole scene with a cat, and I I just felt really terrible after that. And then uh, we did this whole scene where we stabbed Basil um, in one of the black space doors, and then we woke up. Um, and now something is very wrong because uh, what the hell is this? Chat. What the hell is this? <laughs> what the fuck happened? I feel like something is very, very wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a Mori. I, uh, I think that's Sunny Dog. That looks like Sunny to me, yeah. So here's, here's my thoughts. <laughs> I think I've done something very wrong. I think somewhere I went wrong and we're about to get a bad ending. Uh, <laughs> also a thought is there's like two or three hours of gameplay left. And I still, I just don't think there's going to be a power of friendship ending with two or three hours left. Because like Aubrey is still just like completely broken and, and not friends with, Kel, Hero, and, and Sunny, right? So they would have to do some character development to get her up to being friends with them again, right? Um, Curled Milk 69, thank you. So, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what's about to happen. I feel like, I feel like we're about to get a bad ending and I don't know where we went wrong to where we could have gotten a better ending. Uh, but there's no way to know. Also, this is fucked. What is this? What happened? <laughs> we sat in the hand throne, and now my main menu screen looks like this. I opened this up last night because I was like, it was, someone, it was Cosmo. Cosmo asked me how many hours I had, and he was like, you're going to pass the, he, he was saying, you're going to pass the 20 hour mark soon. And I was like, uh, I think I have more than that. <laughs> um, and I do. And then I pulled up this, the main menu. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> I, was, I was actually like, what happened? <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you fart. No, it's not, dude. This is, it's not. Something's very wrong. So. Remember, you have to do your part-time delivery job at Gina's. <laughs> I guess I do. I guess I do. I let's get started. It's it's time, boys and girls. Let's uh let's run it. You're getting vibe checked. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then we're gonna open it, and then it's gonna be happy music. Nothing is wrong. What happens if I look in the mirror? Anything? Everything is just okay. There's nothing here. Everything's gone in here. Okay. <laughs> Basketball? <laughs> Can I go in here? I can't. Word of Mori is etched across the center. There's nothing here. The closet still just doesn't exist. So that's 
cool. Can I go out here? Nope. Oh, they're in here. Hello. Good morning, Sunny. Rise and shine. Top of the morning to you, Sunny. You better munch. Start eating before I finish it all. I already ate most of the bacon, though. <laughs> cool wall. <laughs> Another plate of bacon coming in hot. Oh, boy. All for me? Thanks a bunch, bro. <laughs> Munch, munch, munch. Who could that be? I'll go get the door. I have a bad feeling about this. Fwah! It's you! Ew! What is all this? What the heck, Kel? Is it Aubrey? No, it's... Kim? Huh? What's going on over there? Dang it, Kel. Now I have eggs all over me. Well, I'm sorry, but you're the last person I expect to see here. What are you doing here anyway? Grumble, grumble. I was just about to get to that. It's just, it's Aubrey. She's not answering her door or her back door or the rocks we've been throwing at her window. I'm beginning to think she's not there. <laughs> she was really upset, upset yesterday. I know this is your fault somehow. Tell me what you did to her. We didn't do anything. She's the one with the problem. Hold on, Kel. If Aubrey's that upset, we should at least try to do something to help. This is Aubrey we're talking about. We've all known each other since we were kids. You weren't there when she pushed Basil into the lake. I told you, she's different now. We shouldn't bother with people like her. It's true that she's changed, but it doesn't change the fact that I still care about her. And even if she doesn't show it, I'm sure Aubrey still cares about me too. That's just the kind of person she is. I don't know about that. Today is our last chance to do this before Sunny leaves. There's no way I could just let it end like this. We should at least try to talk to her. Mets, she's watching the Mets. <laughs> well, me and Sunny can tag along, but you're gonna have to be the one doing the talking. She listens to you the most. Thanks, Cal. Hey, Kim, thanks for asking us for help. You're a good friend. Huh? Uh, Sure, whatever. Grumble, 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 grumble. Why don't you head out first? We'll meet you there. Uh, okay, then. See ya. Good job. I wish I had my knife right about now. But you know, they just keep taking it away from me. <laughs> I just don't have my knife right now and it's making me a little upset. I just wish I had my knife. No, we're not getting the Amori Mets ending. This is all normal. Yo, Sonny, thanks for letting us sleep over last night and for spending your last few days with me. You're a real friend. High five. Of course. I love high-fiving Kel. It's the highlight of my day for the last week. That and seeing Snaily die. <laughs> Corgi VR, thank you for the raid. What the heck? I didn't even notice. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are, but thank you for the raid. Thank you so much. Welcome all viewers. No, it's it's not a it's not a colon D moment. It's just I I've never heard of them and and so like it was a surprise. I'm saying it was a surprise. Hold up, something. We should see how Aubrey's doing first. Yeah, I sorry, I forgot about her. Um, <laughs> maybe she's at the church. Don't look so down, Kim. Everyone has bad days. You know Aubrey always bounces back. Aubrey isn't feeling well? How could this be? This must be the work of something more sinister. Perhaps an evil mastermind. We must track him down at once. mongol has got the right idea. Aubrey was supposed to watch the new dance I made up today. Do you think she's avoiding me on purpose? <laughs> I 
Oh, you call indeed snaily, uh. Hello? Is anyone there? Come to think of it, have we ever even been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She always came over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. Hello? Aubrey? Is anyone home? I feel like it's gonna be, like, really beat up in there. Hello? Oh, it looks like the door was open. Let's go inside. Lawless, thank you for the sub. Yeah, I had a feeling. You look trash. Wow. This place sucks. Hey, Ari, how are you feeling? Whoa, what, what, what the heck are you guys doing here? Get the hell out of my room. We're sorry for intruding. It'll only take a bit. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine. I've been hearing some things, but I just want to hear it from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Dot, dot, dot. Nothing happened. You pushed Basil into the lake. You know he can't swim. I, I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned. I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're the one that keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Well, you're the one going around bullying Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you that it's none of your business. But it is my business. You, you and Basil and everyone here, you were my best friends. All right, all right. I see the problem here. This is just your typical Kel and Aubrey fight. Just make up, you two. You've done it so many times before. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mari. They're, they're all I have left of her. But you know it's still not right of you to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. They must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Sonny has them right here. What? He, he does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash. Unless you and Sonny... Haha. <laughs> you really dug through my trash for this thing? That's... Kind of gross. <laughs> Aubrey, let's put Mari's photos back in the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one place. Hero took the photo album from you. I have a bad feeling about this. Come on, guys. We should do this together. Oh no, it's wholesome. Oh shit. Oh shit, Mari's photos. Oh wait, this is actually gonna be so sick. Where's it go? Where's it go? Where the frick does it go? Ah, right there. I read them? I guess I'll be able to read them here soon. photos. I thought there were like six. There were more. <laughs> I 
Where? 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 Holy crap, how many pictures do you have, Mari? I get that, I, I get that, like, it was wholesome and shit, but, like, come on. <laughs> this many photos? Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. iPhone 4 gallery be like... <laughs> Where, 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 where? Hey, we're getting close. This is hype. I want to read them. Yeah. Sonny trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again. So exciting. It's my 12th birthday today. I thought my friends forgot, but they all surprised me with a strawberry cake. I feel so lucky. This year's lucky to be a good year. Another group photo. This was a little after I opened all my presents. Mari bought me this photo album, and everyone else bought me film for my camera. I'll try my best to use it all. Mari and Hero fell asleep on the couch. Mari and Hero sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. They look so cozy together. <laughs> I hope they don't mind the photo. Mari's dad might be kind of mad if he saw it. You're and Mari washing dishes from breakfast. We're start we're staying over with Mari and Sunny this weekend. It's getting warmer lately, so we're about to get to the park. Kel says there's a secret lake area behind some bushes, so we're all going to check it out. It's all of us cuddling with Sunny's stuffed animals. He has so many, they're all soft. I wish I could just uh, Mari wasn't in that one. It's already the last day of March. We're having a picnic with Mari at our secret lake spot. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. After eating all the food, everyone fell asleep except me, Hiro, and Mari. Something unfortunate happened when I was taking the photo. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Hector. <laughs> I'll have to cover it up with tape later. I caught Mari carrying Sunny on the way home from school today. He must have fallen asleep on the bus. I thought it was so cute, so I got my camera out as quick as I could to snap this once-in-a-lifetime photo. Sorry. Sometimes I wish I had a sibling. Sunny and Kel gave up on making flower crowns and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. Maybe just a flower is okay. Mari bought everyone popsicles, one of every flavor. Sunny got lemon, Hero got root beer, Kel got orange, Aubrey got watermelon, and Mari got grape. Mine was banana. It tasted okay. All of our shoes in a circle. Can you guess whose shoes are whose? No. <laughs> Mari says she wants to get a summer tan. I'm scared to fall asleep in the sun since I get sunburned really easily. Hmm, I'm not sure what Kel is doing here, but he's probably having a good time. Hero's sleeping on Mari. He's all tired out from swimming. Well, it seems like Mari won't be able to get her summer tan after all. We're about to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo with Mari and Hero. They look so happy. A match made in heaven. Oh, they're actually... Oh, they were actually together. Oh, that's crazy. Well, that's a new... That's a new little wrinkle. <laughs> that's a new... That's a new little wrinkle, isn't it? Mari says this beetle is a giant stag. It suddenly fell from a tree and surprised everyone. Here is too grossed out to look. All of us hanging out in our brand new treehouse. Looks like Sonny is finally reading the book I showed him. I want to spend every day in here, but it's a shame that summer vacation is almost over. I hope we get used to this treehouse more next summer. 
We went to Hobbies to read the latest edition of Captain Spaceboy. Everyone's so into it right now. I'm sure it's all anyone is going to be talking about once school starts. Oh, shit. I'm playing cards with Cal, Hero, and Aubrey. They're so easy to read, they can't hide anything on their faces. Mari baked everyone cookies from scratch. They were chocolate chip and super delicious, like always. Looks like I have the winning hand, <laughs> but nobody knows that yet. Sunny giving Mari a big hug. Mari doesn't come home until late now because she's taking extra classes to prepare for college. Me and Sunny have been hanging out a lot, but I'm sure he still misses her a lot. Mari practicing her part for a big recital next month. We're all going to go watch. It's going to be Mari and Sunny's first performance together, but I know they'll do just fine. We will all be showing our support from the audience. Mari getting a little camera shy because she's made a small mistake. Don't worry, Mari, just keep going. No one will even notice. After some begging, Sunny came to join Mari for recital practice. <laughs> they're still working out some stuff, but they already sound so amazing. I know they're going to be great. Go, Mari. Go, Sunny. You can do it. And that's where it ends. <laughs> One second. The neck of this is frustrating me for some reason. I'm going to change. Sorry, generic, generic uh, Cloud9 white shirt again. It's just more comfortable. <laughs> yeah. There, now everything is back where it should be. It looks like one photo is still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? <sighs> we really did have a lot of fun together, huh? Yeah, I guess we really did. I'm sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. I'm sorry too, Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great either. All right, apology accepted. So now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? Come on, hero, not now. You're so embarrassing. I, I'm good, thanks. All we need to do now is check up on Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Oh no. Aubrey, knowing everything I heard from Cal, I'm sure you need to apologize to him. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Now, let's get out of, let's get you out of this house. <laughs> okay. Let's go, full party! Let's freaking go! Maybe maybe I was wrong. Maybe they can just expedite the process a little bit here. <laughs> and get and get uh get everyone on board. Oh, he, he, she's got a little bunny, bun bun. Aw. Oh, her and Kim have the cool picture. She's got a Captain Space Boy poster. Aw. Empty corkboard. This is where Aubrey kept the photos of Mari. A bucket, useful for rainy days. mirror cardboard box bathtub ramen wardrobe
Yo, Aubrey, are you okay? Hey, Kim, I'm good. Thanks for bringing everyone here. Hey, guys, guys, Aubrey is here. Yo, Aubrey, are you feeling any better? We even saved a taffy for you. What happened in there? Your face is all red. Do you need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all earlier. Hey, it's no biggie. We're just glad you're all right. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey, let's go hang out at the park. I want to show you some cool new moves I came up with. I was up practicing all night. <laughs> that sounds fun, but maybe later. I have some things to take care of first. We'll all hang out tomorrow, I promise. Oh, okay. We'll see you later, then. Aubrey, don't keep us waiting too long. You know I won't, Kim. I'll be back before you know it. Honey Peanut, thank you for the sub. Someone said to tag. Can you tag now? No, you can't tag. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy, chat. Let's go to church. Balloons. Mincy is diligently sketching away. Ah, I'm afraid we won't be holding a sermon today, but feel free to use this place to collect your thoughts. Everyone is welcome here. Wow. What about the graveyard? Oh, we can go back now. Our dearest Mari. The sun shone brighter when she was here. This grave could use some flowers. Yeah. Hey, Mari, it's me again. Sunday Cow and Hero are with me this time. Do you visit Mari's grave a lot, Aubrey? Yeah, I try to, although some days it's a little hard. You guys visit sometimes too, don't you? Every now and then. But maybe I should have visited more often. Hey, Hero, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm glad we're all here to see her. Hey, Mari, I'm sorry I haven't visited you yet. I was being selfish, I think. It's been so long, but I still miss you more than ever. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm just really sorry. Hero, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Yeah, we're here for you if you ever need us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Don't worry about me too much, okay? Here, this is for you, Mari. From all of us. Oh. Uh, Dominion Danny, thank you for the sub. Spirits have been howling all day. I pray for this neighborhood. Someone will be grieving tonight. Still nothing to interact with right with there, which is interesting. There's bread right here. It smells toasty. Is Carson crying? Not yet. check on Basil. I think there's a couple other things to check on, such as Artist House, which we have helped her multiple times. 
Hey, have you guys seen my idiot little brother, Angel? Oh, that was your little brother? I gave him some money and sent him out on some errands this morning, but he hasn't come back yet. Knowing him, he probably just forgot. If you find him, could you check up on him? Tell him his sister is growing impatient. <laughs> I can do that. Keck W was taken, was taken. Thank you for his sub. I'm just worried about checking on Basil as uh, I, I assume it will just not go well. Oh, coin! <laughs> what if they look like race car chairs? True. Calpy Dingbat, thank you. <gasps> Doggo! Oh, a huge chonker. Oh, oh, look at this good boy. Let's give you some good boy points. Bark, 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 good boy is I. Yes, huge chonker. <laughs> what a cute doggo. I'm gonna take a picture of you and put it on Reddit. Your BFF, Eric, thank you. making money real quick. You guys know the vibes. Who's this guy? Who's this fellow? Hmm. Looks like the bus is late today. Hmm. I do. Thanks. Five bucks. I'm rich. Oh? Hey, Sonny. Sorry I was so mean to you before. I think seeing you just caught me by surprise. Though I guess that's a pretty crappy excuse. I hope you've been doing okay and stuff. I'm sure everything was really hard for you to deal with. Sometimes I, was, I think I was the one that should have been there for you. I don't know if we'll really ever get over Mari's death. But it's okay to take it slow. To allow yourself to feel every emotion. And to have patience. Anyway, I just want you to know that I still care about you and stuff. I've been thinking about this since I saw you, but I think you're looking a little pale and kind of thin too. After you move, promise me you'll go outside more often, okay? I cannot miss any of these interactions. <laughs> I refuse. <gasps> I don't have the fish yet. I'm sorry. I'll come back. Is that Basil? Wait. Oh, that's me and Basil. Okay. Gotcha. Vibes. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Okay, I gotta feed this cat. Uh, you know that's what I gotta do right now. What happens if I throw another coin in the phone? Yeah. The coin fell straight to the bottom. Man, that just doesn't do anything, does it? <laughs> just does not do a thing. Fish? I have just enough money. Hold on a sec. I want to buy a drink. Hmm. No, no, not this one. What? You're busy. You're buying soda, but you're passing on good old Orange Joe? How could you? You, you still drink Orange Joe? It's so grossly sweet, like it was made for babies. Oh, yeah? If it was made for babies, why would it contain 150 milligrams of caffeine per can? <laughs> Do your research, Aubrey. <laughs> Whatever. Everyone knows Orange Joe tastes putrid. You're probably the only person in the world who buys this crap. Well, now you're getting personal. How dare you insult my dear friend Orange Joe? When was the last time you even tried it? I'll show you. Cal, 
W what are you doing? Hey, this can's design is from like five years ago, and it's expired. I told you, no one buys this stuff. Worry not, my dear friend Orange Joe. No matter what, I'll still drink you. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> You're gross. <laughs> and you owe me a dollar. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it to you later. Yo, yo cat, I got the fish. I feed you now. Purr, purr, purr. The cat left a gift for you. You got an arcade piece? Oh shit! It's not in here. Oh wait! Angel! Hey Angel, your sister's looking for you. She said she sent you out on some errands earlier today. Huh. Errands? What errands? Oh crap! I forgot I was supposed to buy some art supplies for her this morning. Uh, uh oh. So that's why I had that money in my pocket. Oops. Hey, uh, when you were talking to my sister, did, did she look angry? Yes. Sh she did? Hmm, should I bother going back home then? Is it even worth it at this point? Gah! No, if I keep running away, it will only make things worse. 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 Come on, Angel. You have to face your fears head on. Onward, Angel. You can do this. Fua. What? You're playing Amori? Yeah, you're like six days late. You want to read comics with your friends? Yeah. What? Might be a little late, but you should look at Aubrey's bed. I can do that. We got time. What? We got all the time in the world. Sigh, dang it. I'm trying to fix this old arcade machine, but I'm missing a rare and important piece. It looks like it was just bitten off right here. I wonder where it could be. Hey, that's the missing arcade piece I've been looking for. C could I maybe take it off your hands? Yeah. You gave the arcade piece to glasses, man. All right, cool. Now let's see here. There you go. Good as new. Here, take this CD as thanks. I bought it at Hobbies last week. Forgot I already had a copy at home. You got devilish CD? Okay. Now if you'll excuse me, I must uh, make sure this game works correctly. You inserted a devilish CD. Oh, nostalgic CD? Okay. Okay. What we got? Devil CD? I take pride. Oh, it's gonna be a sweetheart. It's cover of Worlds and Valentine. I do have Mary CD. It's like an 8 bit remix. White Space by Clover and Sea Life. Oh. This is a cover of White Space? That's ridiculous.
Sonny just sitting there like a bump on a log. Kel's just eating all the pizza. <laughs> with the boys by slime girls sunny does not stop them it's true vibes. Any scenes in here? Hmm. What's the bread twins? A fresh bread. Fresh bread. Would you like some fresh bread? Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Would you like some fresh bread? Cool. Welcome. We hope our candy makes you smile. I told you, Curtsy. It's smiley. Smiley. Yes, ma'am. Sweetheart, yeah. It's gotta be. I was kind of thrown. I was kind of thrown off when Ted Cruz played Amori, but Carson's bringing me back to it. Ted Cruz did not play Amori. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Hello. Here, this is for you. You got flower clip? other jobs for money by the way i know i don't think i want to do any jobs right now dog is just so sad look at Aubrey's bed Aubrey's bed why'd they say to look at the bed what there was nothing there <laughs> it was just Aubrey's bed <laughs> person are you an emotional person I don't know depends basil house let's run it what's up now Hey, Polly, how's Basil doing? We were wondering if we could hang out with him today. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. He's in the hospital. What? What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil is in the hospital visiting his grandma. She was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh, no. I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? I, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon. 
Sorry. Would you mind if we check back here later? We're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Y yeah, sure. Anyways, we'll be back later. See you, Polly. Okay, see you. And then he was like, what, what are we going to do? Well, I guess we have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I vote somewhere indoors. It's way too hot today. Sure, maybe we can hang out at our house a little. And then later, when it cools down, we can all go see the treehouse. Oh, yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey is with us now, too. Our old treehouse, huh? I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't yet either. We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Sonny? What do you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah, you should decide how you want to spend your last day in faraway town. Lead the way, Sonny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kitty! Oh, it's Miwo. Oh, this is not good. What does that mean? 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 What did that mean? What did that mean? What what was that? 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 Has anything changed up here? Hmm. I bet everything's the same, pretty much. Sonny usually goes into the bed and rates it, but he doesn't do that with Aubrey, so. I see. <laughs> okay, so this is the last day. Is there anything I should do around town, chat? Check hangout spot again? I guess I didn't picnic there. <laughs> 15 times for chonker ending. I did go behind the church already. Go to Kellen Hero's place, play basketball. Blake has a scene. Okay. Hey, Aubrey. What do you want, Cal? I've been thinking. We get into fights all the time, huh? Yeah, we do. But even after everything, we're still friends, right? Yeah, I guess we are. Huh, isn't that weird? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you two. That just means that you two are really comfortable around each other. I'm a little jealous you two can be so candid even after all this time. I think that's something really special. Really? I was just about to say that I find it kind of annoying. Ugh, you're such an idiot. They like each other. Recycultus? I don't think he met the requirements. Oh, that's a shame. So what else, chat? What what else should I do? Pet rock fights? I saw the photo next to Aubrey's bed. Can you tag? No. New check on Angel. Oh, right. Granny's house. That rock, not too interesting. Yeah. 
I, I'm, I, I don't know. If I were to do that, I don't know if I'd do that on stream. <laughs> All CDs? Yeah, no shot, bro. Angel, get back here! I'm sorry, sis, please! I beg you, not that! Anything but that! Ah! And then he's just, like, painting. Angel is frozen solid. It will probably be a while before he recovers. Huh. Oh, it's just you guys. Thanks for fetching my baby brother. He's he's in a better place now. Just kidding. He's just standing in the corner there in timeout. Maybe next time he'll think twice before he uses all my money to buy trading cards. Psst. Here, take this. You got a rare card. I pretended to rip one of his ultra rare cards earlier just to freak him out a little. Well, that's the real one right there. Just hold on to it for a few days or so before you give it back to him. <laughs> that should teach him a lesson. What, do, what did that do? What is that? What? what, what, what? There are only four of its kind. Whose house is this? Oh, it's all American guys. What's that bread twins house? Nothing. The real reason you came out of your house was to obtain that rare card. <laughs> Whose house is this bricks in? <laughs> no, you haven't missed anything. What's wrong, Hero? Oh, I know. There must be a spider in this room. Don't worry, Hero. I got you. Now, where is that pesky little... Aha! I got you now. It's alright now, Hero. You can take it easy. The spider's gone. My guy said CMC Husk. Jalia0425, thank you. And Melby33, thank you, for two months. Show it to me. Huh? Did you say something, hero? Show me the spider. Oh, that's right. Here, look, see? It's really dead. I'm going to go flush it down the toilet now, okay? And I'm back, but the spider's gone. It's like magic. <laughs> ha, thank goodness. Hero, I feel like your fear of spiders has gotten worse. You should really try to work on that. What if a spider shows up when I'm not here? <laughs> you really think that could happen? <laughs> Man, here, this is one of the, those rare times where I feel like the big brother. Game time. There's a little plane mobile hanging. Mo, mo, 
stop playing video game and start playing some b-ball okay i think we have to go to our house yeah i think shit's about to hit the fan when we do looks like the sun's about to set did you want to go see the treehouse now sunny What do you rate the cradle, Sonny? <laughs> wow. I guess you really are moving away, huh, Sonny? When I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. <sighs> Is this shit inside out? No, it's not. Dunklet Ian, thank you for the sub. When I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away just has been a, must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there, or you know, some happiness. <laughs> There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years, and painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through all that, I'm relieved that we were still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here. So that we can face this together. It's okay, hero. I'll go first. Hey, Sonny. When you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could... Aubrey! Sonny! Are you guys coming? A actually, never mind. It's nothing. Oh, I think I think actually Aubrey likes Sonny. I, don't, I can't tell. This is where Mari... Yeah, it is. Oh shit, she hung herself on a, at a tree? Holy shit. In the backyard? It feels like forever ago. But I can still remember that day perfectly. That... That day was really busy. In the morning I went out with mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until that afternoon. I remember that day too. I went out to get a haircut with dad. Oh yeah, you were there with your dad too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mari and Sonny's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening... Even after all this time, I, I still don't understand why she would do it. I, I don't think any of us ever will. Hey guys, let's, let's keep going. Wow, this place has seen better days, but it looks like everything is right where we left it. All our old stuff is still here. Hey look, it's our playing cards. I was the best at card games, wasn't I guys? Mr. Plant Egg. Oh, you're so dirty. Look at all these old books. So this is where all my old cookbooks went. Ah, I think I just stepped on Jack. Wait, there's a photo right there. Is that the last photo from the photo album? Oh man, such good times. Hmm. Why do we have a toaster in here? Plants made from paper. Aubrey and Basil made these together. 
an old TV. Kel brought it up here, but was pretty bummed when he found it out when he found out he couldn't use it. So this is basically like supposed to be reminiscent of the room when you just leave white space. Here's cookbooks. Mari bought them for his birthday. A baseball bat. Mari used to play softball, but quit when she injured her knee. Man, I was the best at card games. I remember now. Kel brought this. I remember now. Kel brought this toaster in here. He said he wanted me to cook with it. Kel was such a weird kid. Mr. Planet Egg is so dirty. There. Good as new. A calendar. The date of the recital has passed. Sure has. <laughs> Don't forget, it's in the toy box. You put the toy box key in your pocket. Hey, look. Sonny found a photo of us. We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. Hey, you're right, Cal. Take out your photo album, Sonny. We should add it in. There. Now the photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time that we'll all be together here in the treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, Hero. The photo album is already out, so we might as well, right, Sonny? Let's start from the beginning. I kind of read through it earlier. I don't think anything's going to have changed. Besides that new picture. Uh, Dunkle Tian, thank you for a sub. And Benzolo Life, thank you for two months. Is this the game with the skeleton and the blue jacket? No. I'm the skeleton and the blue jacket. Look. Where is it? Where's the one I just put in? Ta-da! All summer, we've been working on a treehouse in Sonny's backyard, and today it's finally finished. Hiro and his dad did most of the work, but Ari and I made paper plants to put in the windowsill. We all did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Oh, Mari, I miss her so much. I... I miss her too. Hey, come on guys, why the long faces? Look at all of us back together again. Mari would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right, she would be. If only Basil could be here too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Is the closet going to be there when we go in the house now? And then we have to go in the toy box? You know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now... I realized I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mari died, everything changed so fast. Sonny and Basil became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports. And Hero always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me and abandoned Mari too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Sonny stopped coming to school, 
I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch. So I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him. But he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all the photographs with marker. I couldn't believe it. He had even blacked out Mari's face. All of our memories together. It felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry. I thought he was a nutcase. So instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. And But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did. Yet I'm the one who's angry at him. I'm such an idiot. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. Why is Sonny backing away? We've all made mistakes. At that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse. So I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you too, Sonny. I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Cal, but I'm the oldest. I sh so I should have known to take care of everyone. I... I just... Ugh. No, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean... Just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's alright, Aubrey. I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be here for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Oh yeah, count me in. W wait, just one second. Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> Aww. Aww. We should go see if Basil is back home later today. I need to apologize to him, and I think right now, he's probably the one that needs us the most. Where's the toy box then? <laughs> box is a joke. <laughs> I don't think it is, but okay. Yeah. Wait. Oh, you can't even inspect, like, the key. That's peculiar. Also, he has guard now? What does he have? He has guard and courage. Home run and guard has a chance to instantly defeat a foe. Aubrey also takes damage. Huh. Okay, and hero first aid heals a friend for 25% of their heart. Okay. I'm a little late. What did I miss? Not much. Nothing important. You know. Nothing's happened. There's like, wah, wah. <laughs> No, it's just been a lot of wholesome scenes, I think. Pretty much. And exploring. 
I just saved. Now what has changed now that it's evening? That's the question. Still, still picnicking. I don't think anything's changed. Baseball throws up violently. <laughs> this is a basketball family. My guard is up. I don't trust any of this right now. Oh yeah, no, something's going to go terribly wrong because that's just how the game is. Remember yesterday when I was in the black space and then it was just like, hey, everything is awful. <laughs> and and now everything's so wholesome and now they're just going to rip. Oh, old lady in the street. What's she doing though? Huh? Was that Basil's grandma? Uh. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go down to Basil's. OSCI underscore, thank you for the primer. Oh, that's not even a primer. Thanks for the tier one. Cats585, thanks for the sub as well. Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Well, Basil's back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh no, is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some time alone, but I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try to talk to him? Of course, we'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. been all by himself recently so I'm sure he's lonely it's nice to know that Basil has friends who care about him so much uh L99 Minotti thank you for the sub hi Basil it's Hero I'm here with Cal Aubrey and Sunny we're, we're here we're all here to see you is there anything we could do to help just want to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hey, Basil. This is Aubrey. I just want to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know that you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah, last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly, do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh, you are all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome! I call the couch! Ah, uh, this is all happening so fast. Okay then, since Kel wants the couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. I'll go grab them now. <laughs> Everyone's just down a wall. <laughs> Why do you get the couch? Well, duh, it's because I called it first. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Oh, Basil. Why can't you see that everyone is here for you? Getting them, yeah. Yeah. 
thing. What was I supposed to be doing? Oh, I can't exit this one. Oh, okay. Sonny, I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting. I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Ugh, that's so cheesy, Hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hero has always been such a big softy. Just like you, Aubrey. Ooh, what did you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I, didn't re I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's the softy now. Hm. But yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. Just like I know that Mari's still with, here with us too. You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sonny. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Yawn. Man, I'm getting sleepy. Sleep. Snore. <laughs> what the? Is he asleep already? Snore. 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 Yep, that's Cal for you. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Sonny, thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time. But I really appreciate you for doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's the big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Sonny. After you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah, then we can all go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park or to the beach. Or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. <laughs> that sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come too? Of course they can, offer. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. Damn, Hero is really the glue of this of this friend group, isn't he? Come on, guys. It's time to sleep already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night, Cal. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sonny. See you all in the morning. What is going to happen? Are we all... Are they all going to go in dreamland? They didn't show Sonny. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Will you forgive me? My best friend. Please. Or sunny. Oh. 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 oh, he follows us. 
He follows us with his eyes. Destroy it? None of the sketches are there besides this one. Oh, weird. Okay. Let's destroy it. Is going on. Oh, what's up, something? Huh? Something drags Sunny into the shadows. Yeah, I agree, Otto. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's what that is. Oh my gosh. It's it's Mari hanging. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Content warning goes. <laughs>
fingers won't stop trembling. You hear your breathing begin to steady. Calm down. He's got this. You hear your heart begin to steady. You gather all your courage and learn to overcome. light bulb. So is something the image of Mari hanging? What happens if I go down? dream that you would come back for me but maybe it's too late the truth of that day will be hard to accept when you see it you have to stay strong and if you can please forgive me you got basil's photo album there's still hope for us because you're here i believe in you and you came back for me so please believe in me too daughter is gone and you you are my only son i can't lose you as well So I think this is my theory right now. I think Basil's about to commit suicide and we have to save him. Type B. Oh, is this is this gonna be where his grandmother was? Or something?
Holy shit. Holy fuck. This person's not breathing. staircase closet fuck is happening? What's wrong with his face? Sonny, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Something is preventing you from getting any closer. <laughs> Holy fuck! My fingers? Okay. This is very artistic. I can't tell what's happening in these pictures. Is someone throwing her down the stairs? Violin. I didn't pick up the picture. Oh. Holy shit. No 
kidding. Did we kill Mari? Did Sonny kill Mari? Fucking way. Is that really how the store is about to go? I feel like that's either how the story is about to go or I'm really stupid and I'm misinterpreting. No, no shot. So Basil knew. That's horrific. So Basil was the one that made it look... Basil saved Sonny. 
made it look like a suicide when Sonny killed her. Holy shit. That is a twist. Save? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I forgot to save. Ah, Sonny, it's just you. I'm glad you came. Hey, the Emperor of Austria, thank you for the sub, and Dan Pool One, thank you. It's it's so good to see you. It came to you that day, the day Mari died. When Mari when Mari fell, you you couldn't have done it. It was something behind you, wasn't it? You're a good person, Sonny. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Sonny. That's so mean. Oh, there's something all around us now. Can you see it, Sonny? There's no way out of this, is there? It was something behind you? Oh, shit. Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I don't want to be alone. Not again. You can't leave me again. No, you wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, Sonny. It's something behind you again, isn't it? Ah, uh, there it is now. Do you see it? Stay away. Stay away from Sonny. I'll protect you no matter what, Sonny. You can count on me. When something killed Mari, when something ruined all my photos, I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Sonny. Sonny, Sonny wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Sonny. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Sonny, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. try to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. You want to run. You tried to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. You want to run. Sunny. There's no way out of this, is there? You try to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. You want to run.
Tell me, Sonny. Am I selfish for doing this? You want to run? Sonny. Do you hate me? Please, stop it. Stop struggling, Sonny. I'm... I'm so tired. Something is going to be okay, is what the heart thing said. Every oh, everything is going to be okay. Stressed out, no kidding. Basil, Basil takes 18 damage. Why? Why won't you stop? Holy shit, his eye. Are we dead? acknowledgement of the truth has come at a great cost but it is not too late for redemption fortunately you still know the way back home
blue full thing for eight months. Hi, Sonny. You found your way back home. I don't know if I've ever said this properly, but I'm so sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. All this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts. Even if you try to bottle it all up, it, call, it all comes out somehow. There are two pinwheels now, holy shit. I want to say that everything will be okay. That we have no choice but to carry on. But, that's up to you. Aubrey, Kel, and Hero are good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that, but... The photos in our album, they're not just photos. They're real memories. Our memories. It's proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close and remember what you want to protect. <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Sonny, let's make some new memories together, okay? Oh man, I have a feeling this game is going to leave a huge pit in my stomach. Closet's gonna be there now. It's not. The piano's playing. Sonny, it's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sonny. You've worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. Good kitty. I have to lay- oh, the fucking closet. Wait, what about if I try to go to bed? Oh, there's two beds, holy shit.
Why does the game feel like it's over? Ramen. A full of black light bulb? Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> I knew that. I saw that 15 times. game's over, isn't it? That'd be a really bold ending if they just ended it there. Go outside. I tried. I thought. Oh, I had to hit Z. Rain. Around one to two hours left? No fucking way. I guess there's a final boss battle or something. But he's fucking dead. What do you mean? He's dead. My, my guy's dead. 
Feels good. Yes, I got just what I needed. Uh-oh, my hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that, Cal. You have to keep a good poker face. Ah, when did you get behind me, Mari? I just got here, silly. Here. Go back. You missed a lamp? Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he. Oh, man, don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Cal. It's just a card game. <laughs> huh? Another photo? And what's so funny anyway? Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. Look at Basil's hand. It's a jack and an ace. Shh, don't tell anyone, okay? You look at Kel's hand. It's a four, a six, and a six. D don't look, Sonny. It's, it's too horrible. I'm going to lose, aren't I? Mari's cookies are the best, huh, Sonny? Oh, hero, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mari's cookies. Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop it, Hero. You're embarrassing me. Oh, they're so adorable. You look at Aubrey's hand. It's a two of five and a ten. Hmm. What do you think, Sonny? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. Toast. It does not make toast. It was pretty dumb. Uh, bummed when he found out he couldn't use it. There's, there's not going to be power in a treehouse, so it makes sense. The calendar. Summer vacation is almost over. A bunch of toys are scattered across the floor. The possibilities are endless. Plants made from paper. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not really, but sure. You remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made it from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. Now everyone freaked out. Telling me to go back. Saying I missed something. Dog, there ain't nothing here. <laughs> what I miss? And there, the watermelon's all cut up. Come on, everyone, take a slice. Yay, thank you, hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Aw, not now, Mari. <laughs> Woohoo! Nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Munch, 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 munch. Munch, 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 munch. Hey, don't take a picture of me while I'm eating, Basil. Oh, I'm sorry, Ari. I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Wow. Okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. Let them play, hero. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to hide... <laughs> In your butt, in your desk, all the time, just to see your reaction. You were always so funny. Whoa, whoa, that was you. Oh, whoops! Am I in trouble now, hero? Hehe. <laughs> what? You gross! Stop spitting seeds on me, Cal. Haha! <laughs> you have seeds all over your face. Well, how about this then? What? <laughs> you stop it, Aubrey! You're going to give me cooties. Hey, Sonny, did you want to see that photo of Aubrey? Yep. 
Aubrey's so cute, isn't she? Aww. Oh no, it's the same interaction. It's the same interaction. It's the same interaction. I don't want to. I don't want to see it again. I just. It's the same interaction. I. I already saw this. I already saw it once. Relax, unwind, and enjoy. You remembered the taste of watermelon. It tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. The violin mended a part of itself. So why was it important that I save before the basil fight? It doesn't seem like it's that important. Because I think things would have just been the same. Anyways. I'm just gonna see like a shit ton of <laughs> chats get fucking timed up. You recognize this stuff, Carson? Of course. Hmm. It looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy and sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, Hero. Oh, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. I'm glad you all liked it. One day you're going to be a world famous chef, and you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. Huh? Wait, I am? Of course you are. I believe in you, hero. Well, if you say so. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. W wait a sec, there's something strange in this photo. <laughs> Hector, how could you? can't move. Oh. Hey, Sonny. I took a photo of everyone earlier. Want to see? Aww. This could have been such a good shot, but Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop. Maybe I can cover it up with tape later. Oh, hey, little brother. Sorry, did we wake you up? You look so peaceful sleeping there. It reminds me of when you were just a baby. Hey, Sonny. Can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking and all, and Mari always says I'm really good, but my parents want me to become a doctor. You think I should become a chef? Yes. <laughs> Maybe. We're still young. We should dream big, right? Hmm, but yeah, my mom's going to have something to say about that. Cookies. Mari's cookies. Bark, bark. feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap and felt more comfortable because he knew that no matter what Mari would always keep you safe the violin mended a part of itself Slavic table salt thank you for the sub Hey, Sonny. Hey, Basil. What took you guys so long? Sorry, we got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil, Basil, take a picture of my new raincoat. Okay, one sec. Do you like it, Sonny? It's my favorite color. Pink. Ew, pink is a gross color. No, it's not, Kelly. You're a gross color. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sonny, that reminds me. Mari and I were talking about dyeing our hair together. Mari says she's going to dye her hair purple. P purple 
You want to know what color I chose? Wait, are you saying you want to dye your hair pink? Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. Mari thinks so too. Hmm. I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Sonny? No! No! <laughs> Sonny says he thinks that pink is a great color. See, even Basil and Sonny agree. You're the one who's weird, Cal. <laughs> Whatever. What is it, Sonny? Do you want to see the photo? You always ask to ask, ask. You always ask to look at my photo whenever I take any pictures of Aubrey. Do I? Maybe since a little crush. You feel your ears turning red. Hehe. <laughs> don't worry. I won't say anything. My lips are sealed. Yay! That settles it. One day I'm going to date and dye my hair pink, but maybe not anytime soon. My dad is kind of strict about these things. You said you and Basil were playing that new Pet Rocks game. Hmm. Maybe I should get into it too. Hey, I know. Why don't we go to Hobbies to check if they have any new stuff? Oh, are you going on ahead, Sonny? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. Aw. Uh -uh. Carson, you got an iPhone? Why is now the time you're asking me this? You remembered the sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. The violin mended a part of itself. This game gives me so much tonal whiplash. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, no, I'm experiencing that. Are you sure you don't want to be in this photo, Sonny? Sonny is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? Okay, Sonny. You'll get used to it soon enough. Hee <laughs> hee. Wow, this cake looks so amazing. You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Yay, thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. <laughs> Basil. Basil. What wish are you going to make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey. Or else it won't come true. Huh? Is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish that Kel would get straight A's in school. Hey, you can't do that. Hmm. A wish? Ah, but what should I wish for? I have everything that I could want right here. Oh, I know. I think I'll wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Aw, oh, I want to know though. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Did you want to start us off, Mari? Sure thing. Ahem. And a one, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Basil. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Blow out your candles, Basil. Make a wish. You remembered Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. But you also remembered, as Basil made his wish, you made one too. At the time, you wished for everyone to be happy. The violin mended a part of itself. It's snowing now. Wow, a new basketball. Thanks, bro. No problem, Kel. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. <laughs> uh huh, you bet. Okay, Sonny, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, you get just one present from all of us. It probably doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up for it together. Yeah, me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. 
And Mari and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me? I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. And Mondays! We know this might be a lot of pressure, but... It's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. There was even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea. But we all decided to pitch in for a really nice one, so... Yeah. We hope you like it, Sonny. This is from all of us to you. Ta-da! It's your very own violin. We hope you like it, Sonny. Go on and try it out. felt tingling in your fingers as if on its own your body ready the violin to play you remembered the anxious feeling in your heart as you play the first note on your new violin that it scared you but you didn't mind because they believed in you, and no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them, because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. Oh jeez, okay. Oh frick. <laughs> um, there's a door, and I'm assuming these are optional. You remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. Oh no, that's this is just remember. Okay. And this is remember anxious feeling in your heart. Yep. Okay. Sonny, you're finally here. After this point, it's going to be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we all became friends, I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually. But when the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You would listen to me talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you to do that. I know we've missed out on each other for the past few years, but it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kind of careless, but I'll always be here if you're okay with that. Sonny, we know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you, but you have to put a little bit of trust in us too. Just because you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long, and you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them too. There's more good times to come. Life gets better, and you can be the one to make that happen. Whatever happens next is going to be your call. But we're here for you because you want us to be. And we really hope that this isn't goodbye. Am I going to fight for my life? <laughs> No matter how far you push your feelings down, they'll always come back somehow. And what you do with those feelings, that will be your truth. Hey, Sonny, break a leg for me, all right? Whatever you end up choosing, we will always want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. You can do this, Sonny. I promise to stick with you until the very end. Yeah, I think we'll always be best friends. That's okay with you too, right? We believe in you, Sonny. Holy shit. An empty music stand. 
place the sheet music onto the music stand. The stage is ready for you. Do you want to play the violin? Is this Mari's theme? What's the... Curb flurb, thank you. Oh, he's crying. screen oh This is badass, okay. Oh, he's weak. words friends friends are supposed to be there for each other the song is goaded wish. I hope you can find some peace or, you know, some happiness. Mori erases the enemy. This shit is so cool. What the fuck?
song's getting cooler too. You've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing. And so you've earned nothing in return. Guys, I'm starting to think of Mori as bad. <laughs> friends will never forgive you. They'll abandon you like you did them. And that's what you deserve. Mori did not succumb. He remembered Hero's promise. Last time, we made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. You tell yourself that you don't want to burden others, but the truth is that you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. think about others. How long are you going to let people take care of you? You say you care, but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. People like you don't deserve to live. People like you don't deserve to live. Yeah, <laughs> you said that. <laughs> Mori did not succumb. Damn. You remember Basil's hope. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself. You're nothing but a liar, and when they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. If they know the truth, you'll never be able to regain their trust. No matter what you do, it will be hopeless. All you'll do is make things worse. It would be better just to die. die. Did I lose? Wait, did I lose? Oh, shit. Okay. We go again.
long boss fight, not like this. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know I could even lose. <laughs> Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Unfortunate RNG, damn. Now your enemy is overleveled. <laughs> Good point, Otto. So used to being overleveled. True. Actually true, though. I was pretty goaded before. <laughs> background as the tile screen is true. Now I'm scared to <laughs> take a hit. Hardest fight in the game. Oh, jeez. Boy, I hope not. Jeez. Holy shit. I guess I gotta hit him. If they know the truth, you'll never be able to regain their trust. No matter what you do, it will be hopeless. All you'll do is make things worse. It would be better to just die. Okay, I think this is where I was before. I'm very scared to get hit. <laughs> Holy shit, man.
Don't hit me with the... Okay. Awesome. Okay, I think I can survive a hit. No. Just live, man. Okay, I can heal one more. just die. Mori will not succumb. You remember Mari's request. You'll forgive yourself, won't you, Sonny? You killed Mari. She loved you and you killed her. and you killed her. Aubrey loved her and you killed her. Kel loved her and you killed her. This is quite the, uh, quite the song. Basil loved her and you killed her. You remembered Mari's request. You'll forgive yourself, won't you, Sonny? Oh, we already got that one. Me when I... Me when the dial-up... Me when... You loved her and you killed her. I love the pastel aesthetic in Amori. <laughs> <laughs> Not healing shit. Come on. What do I do? Shit, I have to attack.
come on. You should just die. I died. How the fuck do you win? I couldn't even heal anymore. Oh, wait. Huh? Oh. What is going on? Is that supposed to happen? Oh, that's supposed to happen. Okay. Play. What's up? Door.
We live? First of Mori stream, what did I miss? Flowers from Kellen Hero's family and Aubrey. Sending a little get well sunshine your way. We miss you, Sonny. Flowers from Charlene's family. Dear Sonny, thank you for your help during the summer. Warmest wishes for a speedy recovery. Flowers from Shopkeep. Yo, Sunny, just sending healthy vibes your way. You're always welcome at Hobbies. A get well gift from Kim and Vance's mom. Get well soon, Sunny. Please get to know Kim and Vance better. They can use a good role model like you. Get well gift from Artist. Chevroni, thank you for the sub. Hi, Sunny. I hope you're taking it slow and easy. Get well soon. Come visit. I need to ask you for some more opinions. Some get well gifts. Some get well gifts from Daphne and Bowen. Partake in this bread and regain strength. Then play with us again. Get well gift from Vance, Kim, Charlie, Angel, and the Maverick. Get well soon, Sonny. We'll be waiting for a rematch. An ordinary houseplant. Nothing special about it. An empty bed. Fifteen times, guys? <laughs> What's on TV? Nothing but static. Yeah, that's figures. I think I'm dead. <laughs> oh no. What's this? Mirror ending still possible. <laughs> huh? How about I go right instead? I don't like choices. Um, what's this way? Nothing. Well, I want to go up with my friends. What's down? Tell you something.
No ballin'? I'm sorry. Do you mean basketballin' or crying ballin'? Because I didn't do either. <laughs> Time for round two, baby. Let's go. Watch the bad innings. Did I get the good ending? Social thinks me. They're thinking me. And secret cutscene? Wait, I got the secret ending? What do you mean? True ending, you got it? You are the flowers. Oh. I thought they died. <laughs> Watering of plants gives you the scene of basil something going away. Gotcha. <laughs> mirror ending. GG. It was the mirrors. I looked in the mirrors enough, chat. It was all for you guys. It was all you guys because if I didn't look in the mirrors, then who knows what would have happened. Damn, so I got the true ending. Huh. Huh. I thought for sure I was on a bad run. So now I'm very curious what the bad ending is. How do you even get the other endings? You need to get the Mets ending. Let's go Mets. Yeah, that was... That's a crazy game. Obviously. You know, you guys have heard my, my opinion on the game enough at this point. Um... But now that's wrapped up, wow. Yeah, no. The the twist was very surprising. Both endings in one stream. There's only one other ending. There's an entire unique route if you care to replay the game. Bad ending is when you give up the Amori fight. <laughs> Go look at the main menu now. Aww. DM if you want to watch the endings. I will check them out. I'm very intrigued. So how many hours did that end up being? 25 hours, Chad. That's crazy. You can remove stream delay now. That's true. I'm free. Oscar one nine two, thank you. Um, by the way, if if you are someone who doesn't typically watch the streams, this is a good opportunity to say follow the stream if you want to watch more stuff. Uh, this has been very enjoyable time for me. Um, this is probably my favorite my favorite set of streams I've ever done. Um, like ever, like it's been so fun and it's been I've been I've literally just looked forward to this the last six days. Um, 
and it's been a really good time. So thank you all for joining me. Dr. Who, thank you for the sub. Um, there's a whole lot more constant files and through other routes. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. Now do Hikiko Mori route to fight Perfect Heart. Oh shit. Right. I can <laughs> I can remove stream delay now. <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> At Arena. Perfect heart is hard as hell. Yeah, I'm sure. Didn't cry heartless. Dude, I I was close a couple times, if that means anything. It's also different because I'm on stream. You know, like, if I'm alone, and I, if I were alone and playing it, I, I would probably cry. I, I cry all the time watching, like, anime and stuff, so... All endings. Real Cortex, thank you for the sub. <laughs> the Great Divide made me cry. Come on, Joey. You didn't watch The Great Divide. Don't don't kid. True route bad ending. Ah, uh, yes, this song. Game over. Wait. Game over. Cade Nisk, thank you for the sub. What happens? Wow. Just a Mori left, yeah. Honestly, the bad ending song is a freaking banger. Welcome to White's Way. What? Close? Why is everyone saying close? That's the fucking... Oh! I was like, close what? What am I doing wrong? Mori fandom meme, don't worry about it. The Mori fandom hates me. Gone, yeah. I'm guessing he freaking dies. <laughs> what? Oh, 
Oh, you so you're just in Dream World. Way down, do you want to jump? Wait, oh shit. Close. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. DMCA song, oh shit. Mori takes over Sonny's body. No, I've heard the song. Funny enough, I had it. I got recommended it on Spotify, like probably like a year ago or something. So I, I've heard it. Oh. Damn, that's crazy. And there's just no one there. Holy crap. Oh. True route, good ending versus Mori full fight. So that's what we got. Neutral ending. When is this? Wait. Oh. This is when we wake up in the middle of the night? Gotcha. This is before Basil fight, yeah. Neutral ending is the worst. Not this one. This one actually makes me angry worst ending. Her? Oh, geez. Well, obviously, since they're, he's moving away, but it's foreboding. <laughs> this is one of your theories, Carson. I had lots of theories, so. Jeez. We'll take care of everything here. Go on ahead. We'll be okay. I think. Why, Basil? Why did you do it? Why did you do it? Why did you do it? Sonny, why does this keep happening to us? I'm so sorry, Basil. Please forgive me. There's nothing here, holy shit.
Please mine just denies it, yeah. He just goes home. Yeah, no kidding. This was sex so bad. I'm. <laughs> I can't believe we got the true secret ending. <laughs> Closet. Oh. We get all the fun events? Yeah, I will. Did you answer the door to Mari on the first night? I did. Goodbye. Goodbye. What kind of future awaits you, I wonder? Good future, yeah. Huh. It just follows him. Makes sense. Mom's car is waiting for you. <laughs> New friend. <laughs> Holy shit. There's some dark endings to this shit. This game's dark, dude. What's this one? Neutral ending variation 2. Guessing everything's the same in here. Yeah. He stabs, and then what does he do? Does he? S oh, what? Wait, how'd that happen? I skipped too far. Go to when he gets home. He took the knife from the kitchen. Oh. I see.
Screw up baddening. Okay. And then... So what's the secret route? You've seen them all now? Mirroring. The Kokomori route. I'm very curious about the Kikomori route. Hikikomori is a, is a long route to access. You just have to not open the door to Kel. Oh. Don't you want to save it for a playthrough? Oh, I don't... If it's super long, I don't think so. If you don't open the door to Kel, you play through the entire game in Headspace and there's extra content. I wondered. I wondered if that would be a thing. Um, Like, if he didn't... If he didn't open the door to Kel, but... That's interesting. But are the endings similar? You also get to do your chores. <laughs> it's a much harder version. Oh. There were some things in Headspace you never found. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff I missed. Ikikomori ending is similar to neutral. Oh, that sucks. I'm glad I played the version I did. <laughs> I feel like if I... I feel like <laughs> if I didn't, I would have been very upset. <laughs> There's another ending with the roof scene. Oh. There's whole bosses in Hikikomori route. I'm sure. Hikikomori never ends. You were stuck in headspace. There are no credits. Really? Black Space 2 exists? Oh, I don't want to look at that. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> if you do Hikikomori, your reflection shows a Mori on the last day. That's crazy. Oh, interesting, so depressing. There's more stuff in black space, and you're really going to be scared because of the nightmare fuel Mari turns into. Awesome. The real world tags, Carson, look at them. And black space 2 is accessible from regular black space. Oh. Mori, real world tag. Wait, how do you get these? How do you get real world tags? What the fuck is this? Where did this come from? My side quest? This is if you talk to a guy in the fix-it area. I can't believe I missed this. Aww. <laughs> She's so much more. She's so much more like... <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I don't know the word to put it, but she's like so... She's just kind of going through the motions. <laughs> Apathetic. Sadness. I don't think sadness is the right word for it. Aloof? Yeah. Hmm. 
<laughs> Amori WTF value. Cockroach named Simple Roach appears in the royal kitchen. I got, I got that. I got the Simple Roach. You had like the second highest what the fuck value? Did I really? Oh, is it? Does it not go to 100 like Undertale? Oh, that's interesting. Roman cow. <laughs> I think he was there. <laughs> oh, I got blue girl. Yeah, I got blue girl. I got the spelling bee thing, so. Stranger can be seen for a brief second before exiting the house. Oh, I think I saw that. Running watermelon. I never went to this area. <laughs> you got to. <laughs> yeah, spelling bee. Basil's grandma. Where's this? Oh, I had this. And I was like, yeah, I thought it was Basil's grandma. Oh, that's interesting. That's the Hikikomori route only. Gotcha. Spinning Squizzard? Oh, I didn't even look to see if I had that. I fucking love air conditioning. Okay. I didn't have that. I didn't... I didn't. That's equal to 13? Okay. Larger than 6 and Sunny does open the door for Mari. Hell Mari on, on Mom's bed. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, jeez. Stranger Movers. And this is on the neutral version, right? Oh, wait. Oh, they just disappear. As, like, ghosts. Oh, weird. Remember how fun Black Space 1 was? What if there was a sequel? <laughs> yeah, this is the neutral ending. Okay. Ugh, secrets, Easter eggs, and obscure lore. Discord user's analysis on Amori. <laughs> okay. Dev room secrets, hidden events and battles. These are all very expansive videos. <laughs> Blacker space. And it's an hour and 28 minutes. Holy crap. Red space? What is red space? Oh, no. Where's Red Space? Carson, you can read the Truth photo album? Oh, I didn't even know that. Red Space's hand area? <laughs> you can't in game. Well, you can't go to Red Space in game? It was data mined. Oh, weird. 
You can't read the photos in game. Oh. Wait, how do you go to red space? I'm scared to like look things up uh, now because like I, I for like six days I was like very much not looking things up. <laughs> uh, so now I'm scared to but photo of a wall. You heard some scoffing from behind the wall, but paid it no notice. You were in no mood to focus. You were overcame. You were sick of everything. You knew it wasn't a big deal, but you couldn't control yourself. Photo of a broken violin. Your precious violin lay shattered at the bottom of the staircase. You threw it in a rage. Your fingers were shaking in pain, practicing over and over, but you still make mistakes after mistakes. This was all a bad idea. Photo of an argument. Mari was yelling at you. You couldn't understand what she was saying. She didn't understand you at all. She didn't understand that you just weren't good enough. The only thing you hold on to you was your anger. This pain. Was it her fault? Photo of a fight. Mari blocked your path. She says that she hasn't finished talking. She tells you not to run away, but why not? You did this all for her. Why was she yelling at you? You didn't understand. Photo of a murder. You lose all sense and push her down the staircase. Photo of silence. You watch Mari crush on top of your broken violin. The sound wastes you up to nothing but silence. You called out to her, but she doesn't answer. Your heart sinks into your stomach. That's horrifying. Um, <laughs> that is actually so terrifying. <laughs> it happened in an instant. You didn't mean to do that. Well, you did mean to push, push her, didn't you? It was an accident, right? You're not sure. You tremble your way down the staircase. It's interesting that that kind of... That's like uh, kind of like a... It kind of harkens back to when Aubrey pushed Basil. Photo of desperation. You call her name, but she doesn't answer. You sweep the bits of wood from her body. Nothing but scratches. You turn her around and see her face. She looks asleep, but then why isn't she answering? You pick up Mari and drag her up the stairs. She feels lighter than you think. She, needs, she just needs to lie down in a bed. She just needs some rest. Your heart beats out of your chest. Your head feels fuzzy. You lose vision. You push the door to the bedroom open and make your way to her bed. She's going to be okay, right? This is just a dream, right? You call her name over and over, but she doesn't answer. You watch the light from the window cast a shadow over her face. She's expressionless. You sink your fingers into her arm and break down into tears. You want to scream for help, but you're afraid. You mumble to yourself. What if they ask what happened? There's no way you could tell them the truth. Who would be able to forgive him? Who would believe that it was an accident. A whisper comes from behind you, but you ignore it. A cry comes from behind you, but you ignore it. You cover your face with your arms. This isn't real. None of this is real. Why won't you wake up? Everything appears dark. The shadows slither around you. You don't understand what is happening. Your head starts to feel fuzzy. You sink into a crevice in your mind in an empty white room. Your shoulders feel heavy. A familiar voice whispers something unspeakable. Your eyes widen. It tells you to follow its lead. It says it's the only way out. It says that everything will be okay. You pick up Mari's body and lift it down the staircase. She feels lighter than you think. You feel multiple eyes shift their gaze to you. You keep your eyes toward the ground. You hear the sliding of a familiar door. A voice tells you to walk. A gist of wind, a gist, a gust of wind enters the room as you light as the light outside engulfs you. You keep your eyes toward the ground. As you face forward, you listen to the crunching of the grass and feel the coolness of the wind. You hear the leaves in the trees ripple as the sun begins to set, but you try to ignore it. It's all just a dream. You lay down Mari's body and look up for the first time. Small rays of light shine through the cracks in the leaves. You relish in its beauty and savor the moment. You think, even if this is all real, if you keep looking at the leaves, that everything will be okay. You hear pacing, the crunching of the grass sifting back and forth. You think you see a figure pick something off the ground, but you're not sure. You keep staring at the leaves overhead. Everything will be okay, you think. Everything will be okay. <laughs> Copium. <laughs> you hear shuffling, you hear dragging and creaking and pulling. Something is happening, but you refuse to look away from the leaves. Your head feels fuzzy again. You bite your tongue and attempt to wake up one last time, but it's no use. You're still here. As you and Basil step into the house, you look back towards the trees and see it. The life engulfs it as it sways in the wind. For a moment, you feel at peace. You hate yourself for feeling this way. Is that all then? Is everything going to be okay now? You feel a cold hand clutch yours. You try to jerk away, but it squeezes back, unwilling to let you go. 
The hand drags you backward. You look up and see your best friend for the first time, Basil. You see the tears falling from his tired eyes as he looks ahead. You suddenly realize that none of this is a dream. All of this is real. Suddenly, Basil stops. You look up at his eyes, but this time, they're wide awake, staring at something. You turn your eyes toward it as well, though you wish you didn't. An eye meets yours. Your heart sinks into your stomach. You shouldn't have looked back. You just shouldn't have looked. Yeah, wow. That's crazy. Ugh. Wholesome RPG, ooh woo. Check the M. Do this one. Black Space 2 Aubrey scene. <laughs> huh? <laughs> There's a stuffed toy in the way. Okay. You accepted my love letter. That means we're going on a date, right? <laughs> I love you, Mori. Please go out with me. I'll follow you forever. <laughs> you said we'd hang out yesterday, so I'm barring you for the rest of this afternoon, okay? <laughs> Did you wait long? It's rude to make a lady wait, you know. Come on, let's go. <laughs> that idiot cow went and hid my stuffed toy again. You'll help me find him, right? You're late, Amori. What took you so long? <laughs> Amori, I... Wait a second, who are all those girls behind you? I'm on a date with Amori. No, I'm on a date with Amori. Well, we can't all date Amori. Huh, what is it? So it's come to this. This is Mori's imagination, by the way. Obviously. He likes to believe that Aubrey reciprocated his emotions, but it's never actually shown. Right. I'm turning the laugh track back on. Oh, I don't have it on this one. On this uh, scene. <laughs> Aubrey Royale. Just give up. I'll never lose to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't fight anymore. I'm so tired. There's only one way we can sell this for real. Amori, which one of us are you going to go out with? <laughs> <laughs> you must have dozed off. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that's Delta Room all of a sudden. Duel of the Fates could never, yeah. I've seen the mirror jump scare. I, I did it. There actually is a mirror Easter egg. I know. I I was. I know. <laughs> I, I I did it. I've seen the mirror jumps. I was there. I I did it on stream. <laughs> Fifteen times. <laughs> Look up Hiki Pluto fight. Does it continue after the uh, expanded? Is 
This is black space too. Wait. So how do you how do you get into Black Space 2? Is it actually pretty easy? Can you go into Black Space 2 if you just ignore Kel's knocking and go back? Infinity Cheese, thank you. When do you get to Black Space 2? <laughs> It's at the end, okay. Look up a moly. A moly? What is a moly? You don't know this person. <laughs> Tag me in a <laughs> Tag me in. <laughs> Why is this funny? Because it's awesome. You got $20? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> it looks like Black Space 2 is far more like ridiculous, right? Ah, that's the that's the one I got. All forty nine jump scares. Oh, bro, search up red maze. Why is that on screen? <laughs> Flashing light. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's miserable. Daddy long legs? Ah, you've come a long way down, but you should turn back while you still can. visit to Mari. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is nightmare fuel. Taking Mari with us to dream world. Oh no. Why you shouldn't touch the toast? Oh. No kidding. The transform toast transforms again. Oh. 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 <laughs> Long. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at what you've done. Oh, jeez. That's terrifying, bro.
Faces of Amori. Oh. Of course. So what's the point in the Red Maze? In that case? <laughs> what's the point, then? <laughs> That's the point, dope. <laughs> Red space. Weird. Are you just not a nerd by this? I mean, I'm not the one playing. It's very different when you're just looking at something instead of playing it. That's kind of my thing. Uh, if I were playing, I'd be freaked out. <laughs> I'd be like, what? You know, look at Manikamori. Why? <laughs> what was you and Nikki? Looks interesting. <laughs> Looks interesting. <laughs> Black Space 2 is basically a collection of rooms that are meant to scare or unnerve you. They contain less about plot and more about how far you know how far gone Sunny is mentally. Wow, gotcha. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Look up Dumori. There's so much shit. Dumori. Mori has a gun. <laughs> what? Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to- Alright, let's go. <laughs> hey guys, oh what's gosh. going on? Um, wow, I have a why gun. did someone make this? Are you enemies? Oh god, you're- This makes- Why was this made? <laughs> Beginning is amazing though. I think I... So we move slow. Basil. <laughs> Come with but me if you want, want to live. <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> That's silly. It is playing the Terminator theme, by the way, but we can't keep that in the, the game or video. Unbred twins. Unbred twins. Omori? Is that in Omori? Is, is that like Hikikomori? Oh, I guess it is. Oh, crazy. Damn, they really said, let's code an entire other game than the main plot line. <laughs> no wonder it took so long to make the game. Oh, it's in Orge Oasis? Oh, gotcha. in orange ways but you can only fight them on the Hikikomori route. Huh. 
the info. Okay. I'm getting mixed signals. <laughs> Look up the original Mori comics. Why does it say that? What would happen if I died today? How long would it take for someone to notice? Would anyone even go to my funeral? Probably not, but that's my fault too, I guess. I like wearing my socks inside out, but if people knew that, they'd just make fun of me. If I wore black spot and socks, no one would be able to tell. Theoretically, of course. Sometimes I think I'm too fat, but not like anybody will see me anyway. Abs would look kind of cool, though. W waifu? Oh... <laughs> And this is a very different characterization for Amori. Mama says I have a disease. She says it's hard to help. This is someone who doesn't answer. But I don't need help. Everyone else just thinks I do. How hard do you think it is for a kid to grow up when it's got no one to look up to? Delete VOD? I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> What? Why delete VOD? He was originally 18. I'm gonna look at the rest of the stuff. You should play Mori mods now. Ugh. I'm sure there's a whole world. I'm gonna look at a lot of stuff off stream because, uh... Now I can just look at everything <laughs> and just be like, that's in the game? What? Um, you should read a Mori fanfics now. I don't know if I will. <laughs> yeah. I'm not deleting the, uh, I'm not deleting the VOD. The Samori ain't ballin'. <laughs> Watching Mori meme compilations. I'm good, I think. <laughs> I don't really watch meme compilations, period. Play Do Mori. I'm not playing Do Mori. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm probably going to... I don't know. I'm very... Happy now that I finished the game. Um, it was a trip. It was a real trip. That's going to be like one of my favorite games of all time, I think. Um, I would be completely fine with you streaming the entire Hickey route. Yeah, but I don't think many people want to see that. Um, and also, I think I'd be less, less invested. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a great time. Uh, I'm probably gonna, what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna, I'll put out a new schedule, um, for the next week or so. There's gonna be, I think I'm gonna take a couple days off of streaming, now that I finished it. Relax a little bit. Um. But then we should get back to normal, normal streaming. I don't know what I'm gonna stream next as like a big game. I still haven't beaten Pokemon. Um, obviously a lot of people are not as interested in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon streams, but I enjoy those a lot too. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Got to figure out what to do with myself now that the game, the game's over, you know? All Kel memes are canon. Okay. Kiwi with a sigh. We do need to do that. Yeah. 
Are you gonna make an a Mori video for the live channel? I just don't imagine. I I can't visualize that unless it's like I write a script and talk about it, you know. But it's so it's a thirty. I literally put almost thirty hours into it, right? Not not almost. It, it was twenty five hours, right? It's really hard to condense a twenty five hour game into like a twenty minute video. <laughs> It'd be hard on the editors, yeah. I just I just don't know how I would do it. And if I if I made a video, it would have to be like a funny moments video, and you would lose out on a lot of the context of the game. Um and I'd have to do it like Donkey style. How he how he did like the the Dundertale video and stuff like that. Multiple videos. I guess there could be multiple videos, but I don't I don't know. I I don't think I think that would be an easy way to just tank my views on the channel even more. <laughs> just because I don't think a lot of people want basically a let's play, you know? There's like one good summary video, but it seems really hard to make. Yeah. What about a vid just on your thoughts of it? If, uh, I don't know. I got to think through it. I really enjoyed Amori. I just I just don't know how I, how I can make content out of it. I'll, I'm going to think on it. If you want the true Amori experience, play the Hikiko Mori route like 20 times without getting the ending, and then get the true route bad ending. <laughs> <laughs> Just recommend it to people, please. I I trust me. I uh, I will. I <laughs> like I said, it's it's one of my favorite games I've ever ever played. So. actually true because the hikikomori route ends with it looping oh really <laughs> that's funny okay what makes it so good it's just good and you should play it um <laughs> i i don't have enough thoughts on it yet <laughs> but Let's see. I've streamed 53 and a half hours this month. Amori really bumped that up. Maybe I'll beat last month. Last month I streamed 71 hours. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for coming, everybody. I'm going to end. Thanks. Bye-bye. This was really enjoyable. Uh, I had a great time streaming this. And again, it's it's been one of my favorite, favorite stream things I've ever done. So thanks for coming by. I'll see everybody later. Bye-bye.